Hey there guys, Andy Robertson here with CQ Academy and in today's video I want to share with you how to prepare your resource when you're getting ready for something like the CQE exam or the Greenbelt exam. Now recently, most recently, I passed the Greenbelt exam. So that's the, the resource that I prepared most recently. So that's what I'm going to show you. But everything I'm about to tell you, this three step process that I'm about to share applies to the green belt exam, the black belt exam, the CQE exam, the CQA exam, whatever it is, you're gonna have to prepare a resource to bring into the exam with you because they're open book. So what I wanna show you here applies to all the exams. All right, let's jump into the three step process right now. All right, step number one is to get you a three pack of, of some different colored post-it notes. And by the way, don't get cheap. You wanna go with the real deal post-it notes because here's what I do is I use these things to flip through the book, right? I'm constantly using these, these post-it notes to flip back and forth through the book. So if you get some cheap post-it notes, some knockoff brand that break really easily or they have bad adhesive, they're gonna fall off on you on the exam and they're gonna be worthless. So get some real deal post-it notes. Step number two is to essentially add a different sticky note for every chapter in the exam. So for example, the first uh, pillar in the Green Belt Body Knowledge is overview and it has three chapters. So I did three sticky notes for the first three chapters. When I switched to the second pillar, I used a different color sticky note. And again, that helps me just kind of visually flip through the book a little bit easier. Okay, and so you can see how I've labeled the chapters on the sticky notes so that as I'm staring at my book, I can quickly know what particular chapter it is that I'm looking at. Once I've done that, I move on to step three. And so step three actually takes place in the index, or excuse me, the table of contents, not the index. What I do is I go through the table of contents, I go through each chapter, and I highlight key topics within each chapter. And then what I do is, what you'll notice here is for every chapter, I've got a list of key terms or key concepts within that chapter. And that way, if, I, if, I, if I'm taking the exam and I come up onto a question about, let's say, lean tools or project management, I can quickly flip to the right chapter and confirm that yes, this concept, let's call it Kaizen Blitz or Kaikaku or Kanban, I can quickly flip to this chapter and go, okay, yes, I'm in the right place. This is the chapter that has the information on Kanban or whatever it is. And so I always love to add extra de extra information to these tabs so that when I flip to them, you can see like, let's for, for example, project selection, benchmarking, and stakeholders. There's a lot of different chapters on project management and this particular one has topics on benchmarking and project selection. And then step number four is to simply just practice. Once you've got these sticky notes set up is to take a few practice exams using your sticky notes, get used to flipping through the book, using them. And, and as you take practice exams, if there's a topic that comes up and it wasn't perfectly obvious in the book where that particular concept was located, add another note to one of these sticky notes. Like let's go down to the book here. Maybe it's a question on teams or maybe it's a question on distributions or maybe it's a question on process capability and there was some obscure question that wasn't listed here on the topics. You can add it so that in the future if you see that a similar question, you can quickly jump to the section or jump to that chapter and, and uh, find that concept and use it in the exam. All right, guys, that was it. I hope you liked it. If you did, hit that like button down below. And if you loved it and you're preparing to sit for something like the Green Belt exam or the CQE exam, hit that subscribe button. That way, as I publish new content, you get notified and you can stay on this journey to, to grow yourself and grow your career. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much. Bye.